Hi, I'm Matt from a -Sharp Music Company. I've been using and selling Riveras for over 10 years, and today I'm going to use that experience to help you get an idea of the wide variety of tones you can get out of a Rivera amplifier. <laughs> Now to give you an idea of what a Rivera is capable of, I'm going to be using a Fandango model. I'm going to be using a 55 watt 112 combo. Now from model to model, Riveras do vary quite a bit in tone, yet the basic control layout is similar throughout the entire line. So let's start there. Now Riveras have two very, very different channels. Channel 1 is your British channel. It's going to give you some classic crunch tones. Channel 2 is the American channel. It's going to get you some great clean tones. Now the controls on these two, you're looking at volume, bass, middle, treble, master, volume, treble, middle, bass, master for channel 2. On most amplifiers you see a gain control and a overall volume control. On a Rivera you see volume and master. Basically this is your preamp volume, your power amp volume. Same with channel 2, volume, master, preamp, power amp. Works out, that's your overall gain, that's your overall volume. And so I'm going to refer to these as preamp, power amp, volume. On channel 1, it lays out as bass, middle, treble on the EQ. Channel 2 you got treble, middle, bass. And now this is how they fall on the signal flow and that really has an effect on the tone of the amplifier and that's how those classic amps this is kind of based on have their, their EQ set and it makes a huge difference in the tone. For channel 1 and its controls you've got a channel select push pull, you've got a mid scoop push pull which changes where the mid range scoop is, is focused around from 550 hertz pushed in to 750 hertz when you pull it out. On channel 2, oh, and then also you have a boost control push pull on channel one. Channel two, you've got bright switch. A lot of those classic American amps had a bright push pull. You've got a notch push pull which goes from 550 hertz to 250 hertz. And basically what you're looking at there, classic old tweed amplifiers were focused around 550 hertz, were warmer, smoother sounding. Black faced amps were around 250. So that's what it looks like when you pull it out. It has a little snappier, clearer sound. You also have what they call a ninja boost. It's basically a gain boost for channel 2, and that's got a push-pull on it, too. Now, for guitars, I'm going to be starting with the Paul Reed Smith Single Cut Satin. Two volumes, two tones, a couple humbuckers, three-way switch. Real straightforward. Got one cable plugged directly into the amp. So all you're hearing is the guitar and the amplifier, and that's the most important thing. So let's just start with the cleanest sound we can get. Uh, this is something I like to use for jazz. For a really clean tone, what I'll do first is, is take my power amp section and turn it up to 10. What that's doing is presetting it to have as much headroom as possible, not distort, ready to go. We're going to use our preamp, which is over here, and we're going to set it to just maybe about 3. That's going to give us some nice input in the amplifier, but not a bunch of gain at all, and mainly just super clean. On the guitar, neck pickup. <laughs> Uh, next up, we're going to go with my favorite clean tone. It's what I use all the time. It's got a little bit of grit if you push it, but for the most part, it's still pretty clean. It's a pretty easy setup. I just pretty much set everything at 5. EQ set flat at 5, the master at 5, and volume at 5. Guitar on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Let's do a setting that sounds like a low wattage amplifier cranked up on 10 where it's you know really working hard. Now since channel 2 is based on an American amp, bass on those would get a little bit flubby when we push a little bit more gain. So on this setting, I'm setting everything flat at 5, but I'm going to take my bass down to about 2. And that's going to give you know a nice tight low end, but also get away from some of that flubbiness. I'm also going to pull out the ninja boost. Guitar and bridge pickup. I'm going to switch guitars now. I'm going to be using a Don Grosh Retro Classic. It's got three Lindy Freeland single coils in it. Basically a Strat setup. Now here's an example of my favorite clean tone, but with a Strat style instrument. Um, basically turn the boost off here put the bass back up to 5, set 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, I'm going to turn the bright, make sure it's pushed in before I had it pulled out. There you go, here's the tone. I'm on the second position, it's the bridge in middle. <laughs> 
Here's what I like to use for a clean rhythm tone. I want to push the preamp setting up to about seven, so you get a little more, little more distortion out of it. Pull the bright switch to enhance the sizzle of the distortion. I'm going to turn my bass down to about three, because again, like I said, when you push the preamp section on channel two, the low end can get a little bit flubby. So let's back that down to about three, and then um, turn my master volume down to three, and making up for the fact that I've got my preamp volume set so high. Now I'm also going to turn the reverb up to about four for this sound. We're on the fourth position, neck and middle. Texas blues tone. Um, I'm going to back this off just a little bit, maybe about six or five. Push this back in, no bright switch for this one, but I'm going to do that black face sound and pull this out, get a little bit thinner, snappier tone. Bring the bass up a little bit more and bring the overall volume up to make up the fact I turn this one down. Now I'm going to turn the reverb back down to around two. Got the guitar and neck pickup. <laughs> This is one of my favorite sounds. It's kind of a uh, cleaner, dirty sound because you can hear everything. So I'm going to set this up at about seven, so quite a bit more gain in it. Um, again, EQ set flat at five, and my master is set two. So I, really, all I'm changing is my preamp section here, and you can hear the difference. Got guitar in second position, bridge in middle. This one's just great for your, your strat lead tone. Again, I, I like to keep the same setting, but I just pull out the, uh, the boost, and this is getting a little more saturation with the preamplifier and a little more volume. Now I've got the guitar on the neck pickup. Now here's your classic ACDC rock tone. I mean, it's the same thing we went through from the beginning. Basically, turn down to three, a little bit of output there, set flat at five, master at two. So here's just my favorite hard rock crunch tone. I actually cranked my gain all the way up to ten. It's going to be a lot of saturation. I want to push my bass up to ten. I actually run a little bit more treble to make up for the fact that actually my EQ is from 5 to 6, and then I'm going to leave the volume at 2 still. Now here's the all out, gained out, kill people tone. Um, leave it at 10, 10, 5, 6 again. Two, but I'm going to pull the boost out here. And then on this side, um, I've got my reverb down still, but I'm going to crank my presence and focus. And this is just going to widen out our tone. was helpful in understanding what the Rivera can do. Um, as you can see, you can get everything really clean to all gained out crazy with one amplifier. Um, I love Rivera's. I've, I love mine. I wouldn't give them up for anything. So uh, thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you soon.